Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. We're pretty much kicking off where we left off. I recorded or started recording straight after the previous episode. I barely just saved the the audio because look at that crazy shit down there. What the actual fuck is going on there? I do have a telescope, don't I? Oh, I didn't buy it. Fuck. Doesn't matter. That is some crazy shit. What the hell are they doing? It's like a little procession. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't have the balls to take that on. Uh, even I have my limits where I think being passive is the smarter choice. I cannot believe there are turtles in this game. <laughs> what up turtle? Just chilling? I got you. That turtle life, you know. And this horse with his jumping puts the fucking Skyrim horse to shame. Skyrim horse ain't got nothing on him. Torrent. Yeah, that's what I marked out for myself. That, like, tower off in the distance. You guys are bitches. So you see, yeah, that. I'm gonna check out what that is. Ouch. Heal. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked now by this guy for some reason. Don't worry. I do wonder what it's like to... Fuck. You really gotta be like... Sure of yours. Whoa! Bro. And then you can't do it on all attacks. Like, you can't do it on the really heavy attacks. That's what I was wondering. Like, I was thinking about how this wouldn't be busted. But it's actually pretty well balanced out. You do need to aim it properly. You can't just, like... Killed your horse. Again, my bad. Normally not in the habit of killing horses, but hey. It's about survival at this point. I'm really hoping there's an actual checkpoint there. If there is not, we might be screwed. I'm gonna liberate you boys. You can thank me later. Now, what do we have here? Oh man, you guys know I'm like an ADHD motherfucker on the best of days, aren't I? Like, I tend to get super distracted. So this game plays off of my worst instincts. What the shit? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that it? Am I stoned? I, I think I'm stoned. Forlorn Hound Evergall. Enter Ever... What the hell is... I don't know what an Evergall is. Don't do it just yet. Uh, there's gotta be like grace around here, right? What the actual shit is this thing? <laughs> Yeah, this is straight up, this is Nier Automata. Like the robots from that game. I'm like... Pretty fucking lost at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Not lost, like I know where I am, but in terms of... What I should do first. Do I dare enter? I don't know. Or do I do this first? I, I... Listen, I thought I had my thing out. Not my thing, but my parrying shield. And I don't have my parry, do I? 
gotta keep that in mind. And I gotta get rid of this stomp or whatever. Seriously. Nice. Golden rune. What is that? I know I just keep saying what is that. Really surprising. Like, really... I know I just keep repeating what is that and just wandering towards stuff, but this really is that type of game. And then there's like, it looks like there's a bridge to a whole other area. I probably don't want to do that just yet. The enemies here are pretty... Sort of, they appear to be my level, uh, and I definitely need to use the horse to get up. Get up there. That's an enemy. I was like, enemy or NPC? 50-50. Oh, it's a little magician. Get back, stab, bitch. Royal House Scroll. And the Aristocrat Boots. Nice. Oh, you can make it across. I keep, like I'm too greedy, uh, you need to pause, it's like a parry, it's just, you know, if you're playing Souls, if you play the other Souls games, uh, your instinct after blocking is immediately to uh, go for the the counter, as in not the counter hit, but the counter sort of attack, and here you have to take a little breather before attacking. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. We have the Marika statue. Marika. If we die, really who cares? I'm assuming this is probably something like a Colosseum or a gauntlet or whatever. Yeah. Bloodhound Knight Darwell. I was some, expecting something like that to happen. Not surprised at all. The question is, are my souls going to be stuck in there or my my runes? There might be an issue there. Because... Yeah, because then I have to fight this guy. No, they're not. Okay. It, this probably is something like... Um, little challenge boss because obviously there are no stakes to this yeah let's give him a let's give him a couple more tries we ain't afraid question is can you summon your horse here no you cannot that would be if you could summon your horse on every boss that would be a little bit op oh you have the fucking what's that ring called That makes your dodges, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The Karthus something ring. Okay, this dude is actually a bitch. If he doesn't like pull some trick here, and it turns out there's like two of them. Okay. He does have a good attack pattern. He deals bleed too. Still isn't that difficult. He's sort of like the... Like an Outrider Knight from Dark Souls 3. Something akin to that.
shit. Shit. Not a good start. I will admit that. Just trying to figure out where I can counter attack. That's one of the That's one of the places for sure. This attack. Otherwise it's sort of difficult to get a hit in. Because he's fast. You see? He just recovers really quickly. from that three hit combo shit yep come on do your attack do it this is the best I've done in Quite a while. Actually, there it is. I'm trying to get him into that like stun locked state. Cool. This has to be like a reference to an Outrider Knight, right? Like, look at him. Look at the way he moves, the way he attacks. I think he's even called like Everhound or something. I mean, the area, I mean. Okay, don't screw up now, Mr. Sketchhead. Doesn't have a lot left. Yes! One more hit. Don't fuck up now! He's dead. Eat shit. Bloodhound Knight. Bloodhound's Fang. It's a weapon. Excellent. And we got... I'm assuming souls as well. Now these visuals during these load screens are really cool. I wonder what all this shit is gonna like... Sort of develop into. Whether they're like all areas we'll get to explore. I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Oh, I can just warp there. I was like, you know, I had this like whole big speech prepared how I'm going to like mark that thing in my map and then like ride the horse there and all this bullshit and then you just teleport there. And I teleported to the wrong fucking one as well, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's teleport to this one. This is really, really convenient. This The timing on this episode is going to be messed up because... There's so much I have to cut out of me fighting this uh, goddamn knight. But I do have my path. We're going into the coastal cave. Oh. Good to know. Good to know. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna excuse us. Just gonna peacefully make our way away from you. There it is. 
Okay, I feel like I need to take out these little bitches here before we move on. Them gnomes. Let me, come on, do it. Hit me. But not like that. Oh, come on, these guys are so short, it goes, it goes above their head. Why do I have a feeling this is what leads to the island? Like, it's somehow gonna loop back? That would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, but this is just gonna be a little dungeon. I do like the atmosphere of this place. Definitely, these dungeons, wow, well, you guys are blind as hell. I mean, these dungeons are, even though they're fairly similar, uh, they do have their sort of distinctions. I do like that all three of them had different enemies in it. I hope that's a trend that's going to continue, because that's the type of shit that makes these not boring. And these are definitely very similar to, in concept, to, to Chalice Dungeons. God, I can't talk today. These are very, very Chalice Dungeon-y, in my opinion. We got some Strang. So we'll see what that is used for. Land octopus, bruh. Pro Mr. Sketchhead recommendation. If you see some shit like that in a cave, don't take it with you. Alright. What? There's bosses here. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect that's my dog. I'm gonna get fucking annihilated here. Shit. I was expecting a fog gate and that just didn't happen. Okay, I feel like I'm way better equipped to uh, handle <laughs> these guys. That was not expected. I'm gonna snipe these bitches too. Oh, you can actually kind of cheese them out if, you, if I wanted to. What I don't like is that I can't see the other one. I see his health bar, but where are you at? All right, we're gonna, yep. Okay, kinda had a feeling there that was gonna happen. Whoa, okay, weak to bleed. Eat shit, oh, come on. If I die here, that's gonna be so embarrassing. This is easy. I had this. Is that where the other one is? Way back there? Fuck. I thought I had this. <sighs> nice. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. You snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. So I gotta take out the little... I was gonna say, I feel like I gotta take out the... What? Don't do... Motherfucker. Idiot. He's doing a gesture. Okay, at least before I get myself killed, I'm gonna... Yeah, definitely gotta take these guys out. Unless he just keeps them spawned in. Away. Yep. Yeah, I think he just keeps spawning them in. Classic two enemy souls boss fight. Okay, let's put some distance between us. 
Okay, which one of you is which? Because I want to take out the bra that's like low on HP. Fuck. I know this is very chaotic, but... Fucking hell. Next time I'm doing this, if I... Just in case I'm not victorious here, and I might be. Uh, definitely gonna use the bow more. Come on. Is it dead? It's dead. And I still died. <laughs> I, I got the stuff. Sewing needle? What? Is this? I'm just thinking. Has my wish of a Souls game having armor customization actually come true? That would be an absolute godlike move. Godlike. I always said it would be so cool and a major upgrade to a Souls game if there was a way to customize the look of your uh, like items, even if there were just like dyes, because a lot of sets sort of gel together, but in terms of like the look of them, outside of the color. So if there was a way to change the color of your stuff. That would be so dope. And I'm not sure if this is that, because I haven't read the description. But if it is that, I am going to be a very, very happy camper. I kind of fucked up that boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. In terms of fucking it up, in terms of... It was a bit of a mess. I wasn't in control of the situation, but... half time in a Souls game, you're not in control of a situation. And it just... Things just sort of work out. And that's what I was going for there. These are straight up Lord of the Rings enemies. Hobbit enemies. And don't worry, I'm gonna read all of the stuff I've gotten. This has to lead to that island, right? I knew it. I fucking knew there was a way to get to this island. Alright, let's just check out what we just got. So this is material used for crafting, okay. No worries. And what do we have? A large sewing needle curved like a fang, bogged the demi-human's prized possession. And tailoring tools enables armor alterations at sites of grace. Again, that's a little bit cryptic, because the question is what type of armor alteration? Is it just you get to level it up? Or is it something more spicy? What the shit is that in there? a fucking dragon. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need this. It looks like a dead dragon, but listen, dragons are almost never alive in Soulsborne games. So let's just check this out. Alter Garm. Yeah, but what does it do? Oh, yeah, I see it. It increases the weight. So it's just like leveling up your armor. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That didn't give like jack shit souls. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed by that.
And I know I keep forgetting to summon my little buddies, don't I? Church of Dragon Communion. This is a covenant. This is one trillion percent covenant. We'll, we'll get there, but we're gonna... We're gonna be cock-teasing a little bit here before we go. I, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Question is, does the boy want to go into the Dragon Covenant? Kinda do, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda do. Dope, there's like... Great Dragonfly head, gross. That's like fucking... That's so cool. The details, man, the details. No flat fucking horizon lines here. This game is really well made. All I can say is this game is super well made. So far, I have not seen anything where I was like, uh... Mm. Oh, this is where you need... Okay, so you put in a dragon heart and you can get... I'm guessing these are like spells, dragon spells. Yeah. So there are arcane spells in this game. But these are all miracles. Well, you know when we're gonna come back here. You know the time. Eventually, there's gonna be an ultimate... What, miracle guide for this game? Done by yours truly, of course. And that's when we're gonna tackle all of this. I still haven't managed to fucking get out of this first area. Oh man, I still feel like I did quite a lot though. Uh, the question is, is it time to move on? Or do we look at the swamp? You know, I almost thought about wrapping it up there, but I realized that I have a shit ton of footage to cut out because of the the boss that I was trying to fight. So I thought that why not continue on and take a look at this swamp. Damn bald eagles though. Yeah, I didn't want to, you know, the thing is when you have this much to cut out and you structure your playthrough sort of this way uh, with like editing and all that shit, sometimes it's difficult to... Like, get the length right. You either end up with a really, really long episode, or... Oh, no, 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 no. A Dragon. Flying Dragon Eggheed. He has a name. Oh, these poor dudes. They're screwed. But this is a horse boss. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, um... I have a sneaking suspicion that this ain't gonna happen, as in... Yeah. Sort of what I was expecting is exactly what happened. Um, I think to say that I am not... We're going to the last thing. To say that I am not exactly prepared for this boss, I think would be putting it lightly. Um... So what I'm going to do is we will collect our runes and listen, I think there's still stuff we could probably do over here this way, but I'm going to continue along the main path. Oh, shit, I always do that. Oh, I thought he was gonna fly in again. Damn it. It's all good. 
We're coming in here, we're grabbing this, and we're gonna hightail it out of there, to put it lightly. Uh, goodbye, dragon. Actually, I'm curious. No, you can't. Okay. What I was trying to see is, can you warp away uh, when you're in the aggro range of a boss, but you cannot. It would have been a weird thing to do. Like, you can't open the map either, because obviously that will allow you to pause the game, and you know Souls games and pausing are not two things that go together. This is, this like, I'm getting distracted again. See? I... <laughs> What the shit was that? Was that like? What? Did I just seriously get attacked by a ram? Okay, there's lightning over there. But just like localized to this area. Gwyn is like pissed off right there. He's like, fuck that spot in particular. I feel like this is gonna hit me, right? What the hell is this? I don't know, but it looks good. I got a shit ton of it. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta get back to the like that save point, and then like start getting a move. Start getting a move on, especially since I'm losing the ability to speak apparently. Okay, let me take a quick look at this item crafting thing. Uh, I don't have recipes, do I? That's what is needed. Wait, I do have some. This is what I can make. Fire pot, rope fire pot, we know what that is. Bone dart, row a raisin. On horseback, feed to turn to restore HP. We're gonna get, I think, some of that. That seems like it's useful. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Interesting. We well, can get that, why not? Not gonna do too much with that, but still. Firebone arrows and firebone bolts. Uh, these seem like they're useful. Cool. Excellent. Am I ever gonna use any of this shit? I don't know, but it's good to have it. Yeah, you guys... That's for next episode. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.